Alright, um, let's see. Five, four, three, two, one, go. Alright, what's up? Um, so starting off, uh, this is basically Shovel Knight on steroids, is the easiest way to put this. Um, this is normal Shovel Knight, except he has 30 relics, and we're gonna be using almost all of them. Um, eh. um, so basically this version of uh, Shovel Knight works is, uh, he's a normal version of Shovel Knight, except, um, you gain XP by doing, on the amiibo, by doing tasks, and like just completing, completing the campaign multiple times. Yeah. And um, this was a Nintendo exclusive with the amiibo, so it's only available on 3DS, Switch, and Wii U, which I'm doing this on Switch. That's why you see me switching between all the relics uh, very quickly, because I don't have the luxury of, I don't have the luxury of the touchscreen on the game, uh, on the gamepad. So I just gotta use that. Uh, so this version of Shovel Knight, this is the fully upgraded. Uh, this is Shovel Knight, uh, but he has Plague's Burst and his Double Jump. Um, and plus Shovel's Pogo. Every time you uh, Pogo off something, you get your Double Jump back. Here's Bubble Wrap. This is one of the only glitches in the category. Um, so what happens there is that... Oh, ooh. What happens there... Uh, what happens there is... God, I can't talk. What happens there is you touch two screen transitions at the exact same time, so the game has no idea what to do, so it's like, hey, uh, let's throw Shovel right over there in the corner, three screens after where he really should be. Okay, um, so that was a lot, and me trying to go fast probably didn't help. Uh, so right there what you saw was Black Knight 1. That's uh, not the last time we're going to be seeing him. Uh, so the Shadow Knight was that little uh, purple dude I pulled out. And what he lets you do, uh, create a shadow clone of yourself that uh, is a little further forward than you are. And uh, it throws out a hitbox for you every time you hit uh, Slash. But uh, it uses magic constantly. So, but the problem with that is, is that yourself, your actual avatar does not have a hitbox. It's only the clone that has it. Alright, so this is Primor Keep. Um... So you notice this blue thing I've been using a lot is the Infinite Dagger. Uh, basically, ooh, that was nice. um, what it does is it's a version of the normal propeller dagger, except a lot more powerful. It uses one more magic per uh, hit per use, but in return it keeps going until it hits a wall or uh, hits a screen transition. Yeah, Infinite Dagger. <laughs> This thing speeds up the category a lot. Ooh, yeah. I am... I'm playing mediocrely. Um, so a lot of these, like normal shovel, uh, this uh, mini boss right here would have to damage boost through, but because we have Plague's Burst, we're able to just kinda not deal with it. So it makes a lot of the things... In <laughs> It makes a lot of the things in stages just kind of, uh, I can't think of the word, jeez. Do I need Spectre? Um, not necessarily. You, I'm down if you want. I'm gonna be doing B-Ball though, so I'm not doing Bro. So if you know what you're doing, then I'm down. Alright, now we're going on to King Knight. Um, so this right here, I'll explain it after the fight. That's pretty bad. Um, so that uh, weapon right there, it's technically called the Flareto Wand, but I find that a really stupid name. So I just call it the Cluster Wand because it's based off of uh, one of Plague Knight's bomb power-ups in that exact shape okay. uh, called the Cluster Powder. So that's just what I call it. Um, so basically what it does is it costs 12 magic, but it shoots out three hits all at once. So it's able to do like stupid high DPS on uh, bosses. So just about every boss uses it, uses a uh, cluster one. So Infinite Dagger, just, just kind of don't have to do those rooms. 
I'll also be skipping like the last three rooms of this stage too. Keep in mind I still haven't touched the ground yet. Now I have. But that was like sol a solid four rooms without touching the ground. Alright, right here, I'm gonna be trying to not- there we go. Ah, oof. Yeah. Uh, so what normally happened there is you're supposed to infinite dagger through it. Just through that whole spike section, but that didn't work out. And in this room, you're supposed to have those frogs uh, way down that platform for you. But for some reason, that mobile gear that I put down weighs down the platform for you as well. So then I don't even have to deal with the skull all the way on the other side. Oh, ah, he doesn't come down normally. Whoa. There we go. Alright, so I talked about skipping the last two rooms. Checkpoint bounce into the burst stream transition. Then get the double jump. There you go. You can't even see Shovel Knight. He's so high up. And so, uh, Spectre Knight right here. Uh, I'm going to be using Flare Wand and Cluster Wand to uh, skip Spectre past some damage phases. I'll talk about those after. Oh, wow. That, both of those missed. And I got bad orange. Nice. Wow. This is bad. Oh, that was so bad. Yeah, Mobile Gear weighs on the platform. Originally, Spectre Knight was swapped with Propeller. And then uh, the devs figured out that people uh, people thought flying machine was really hard, which it is. Don't get me wrong, it's really hard. So they decided to switch it. All right, so right here, these are the dreams uh, because this is still a normal playthrough of Shovel Knight technically. So these dream sequences happen every three levels. And uh, this is where Shovel dreams about catching Shield Knight, which I guess brings into the story, which I'll probably end up talking about right now actually. Um, so in normal shovel any percent you would try to kill yourself in these dreams because otherwise you have to wait the full 30 seconds But you have 10 hearts versus four in the normal campaign So what we just have to do is wait it out And then I'm gonna use this rising dagger right here to just try and catch shield knight as soon as she comes on screen So that was kind of bad But it could have been worse all right, so because we have everything we already need in uh, in the campaign, we're not gonna be getting any upgrades or anything because Custom Knight doesn't let you actually. Uh, that's not that's all XP based. Uh, so we're just gonna be going on Shovel New Game Plus Water. So we're just gonna be going straight to Explodatorium just because it's less menuing over time. Uh, but this stage, this sp stages are completely based off global cycles. Um, so you'll see uh, the platforms in this next room are all, all based on global cycles. So how fast to do that beginning? Ooh, yeah, I messed that up too. Yeah. So I'm probably... Maybe I might die. Yeah, there we go. So the problem with that is that... Uh, the problem with Infinite Dagger and Rising Dagger is... You can use them all once uh, before you hit the ground. But after that, you're screwed until you hit the ground. So the only thing I had to rely on was my burst, but you can't charge a burst while doing an infinite dagger. Yeah, I did the same thing again. What am I doing? Whatever. Alright. Luckily, money is not important in this category, because like I said, we can't get any upgrades. So I can just kind of let it be. Okay. Ooh. That was bad. Ah. Uh, am I gonna hit that? No, I'm not. Alright, so right here's the Alchemist. I'm gonna be doing Cluster 1 to get some DPS on him. Right up here. No one cycle? Ooh, this is garbage. Yeah, two hits off.
Alright, so, um, the way Shovel Knight does screen transitions is, is that, um, you can only, uh, screen transition up by hitting a ladder. So what we do there is, uh, we, uh, go up so high, we call on a ladder that's completely off screen. But the game's like, hey, um, Shovel's touching a ladder, so he still goes up. This is one of those ways we skip that other first section completely. Ooh, that could have been bad. Alright, so Plague, uh, he's the most RNG heavy boss in the whole game. Ah, oh, come on, man. There. Alright, Vin, I'm bad at commentating Custom Knight because it's so fast and I have to switch through so many weapons. I can I can sp I can commentate uh, Spectre pretty easy. Because I've put in so much more time in that game. <laughs> Big Knows Knight. Real talk. Alright, Iron Whale. Um it's just it's an okay stage. Um, it's kind of long because it has, a, has an auto scroller in it, so it's one of the things that can make it take a while. All right, so hopefully I can make this look cool. Wow, I already failed at that. Oh, ooh, yeah. What am I doing? Uh, I let off. I let off uh, the burst, even though I shouldn't have. The thing about Custom Knight is, you go so fast, you almost never grab checkpoints. Real talk, you never do. That's why when I got an Explodatorium, I had to grab another checkpoint too. I missed uh, another checkpoint in between that too. There we go. That's what I wanted first time. All right. There was the room right before the first checkpoint too. All right. So the way damage boosting also works in Shovel Knight is uh, let's see. All right. the way uh, damage boosting works is for some. Um, doesn't matter where the damage comes from. If you take damage, you will be knocked backwards the direction you are facing. Uh, so the way that works is we can use that to our advantage by uh, just turning backwards like immediately before we take damage. And so that'll boost us forward and uh, also Shovel has what we call iframes after taking damage. Uh, which invincibility frames so then he's able to go through things like spikes other things like that yo Kyle thank you man I needed that I've been trying to get that last follower for a solid two weeks there you go one cycle all right so we're here rising dagger is gonna help us out Double jump just lets us hit those ladders, but then we can also skip this rocket section. Or not, you know, it's whatever. Alright, I'm a little low on health, but it honestly shouldn't be a big deal. I say that, but... There we go. Alright, so infinite, if you time that right, I went on that checkpoint. It actually wasn't for safety, it was for positioning to uh, get that infinite dagger. And then, so Infinite Dagger is the fastest way to get through all these sections without going on that uh, rocket section. Because it's actually pretty slow. And so, right here, you can burst into the uh, boss room and you keep all your momentum. And so, I use that to get closer to treasure. There we go. That was pretty garbage. Ooh, <laughs> I was one hit away from dying. 
Ooh. I actually was not... I, you never have to pay attention to your health in Custom Night, so you can see how bad this is going. <laughs> Alright, so now, um... What sucks about doing these in New Game Plus order is that Yacht Club Games, the people who made this... Who made Shovel Knight, position... Like, they put the stages in this specific order for a reason because they know which ones are harder than, than the others in each world. So, Lost City in Custom Night by far is the hardest stage, specifically for Beetle 1. Beetle 2 is scary, but it's not hard. So, I'm gonna probably stop talking for a bit. I, I missed it, never mind. What am I doing? Okay, I, t I took it super safe, not gonna lie. Alright, so right up here, I'm going to be using Infinite Dagger to skip me past two rooms without having to actually do anything in them. So I'm going to grab this checkpoint. So, one more Infinite Dagger. You hit this wall, and then you just uh, Rising Dagger right after. Sit right there. So, what's weird about this, uh, about some of the screen transitions... Not the screen transitions, uh... uh some of the platforms here is that Yacht Club, for some platforms, will just cut them off right... You know, where you see it end, right here, where the top, it has the item and life bar. Ooh, that's... Ooh, we're good. Alright, so that's uh, Super Dangerous Beetle 2. That was a uh, pretty okay. Um, the optimal uh, mole kill, we'll get him right before he even starts like to do his blocks. So that was pretty, it was pretty close. I think it was about a hit or two off at most. Um, so we're actually done with world two already. So we're doing all right so far, besides those two bad dads. You gotta clip that? Yeah, dude, I was actually super close to the death plane. I, I'm actually surprised I made that. Uh, so like I said, uh, dream sequence is the same. Uh, we have to wait out the 30 seconds because you can't take enough damage because of iframes. You can't take enough damage to kill yourself uh, to end the dream. So like I said, we just have to end it as fast as we can once Shill Knight pops up. Yeah, there we go. That was that was actually almost that was almost perfect. That was so nice. Now we're gonna move on to Stranded Ship. Um, I, it's an okay stage. I, it's hard. I would say it's the second hardest in this world. I would say Clockwork by far is the easiest. So position on that ice block right there, so we can just infinite dagger through this entire room without having to worry about anything. And so, like I said, you get your double jump back after pogoing on something. So then we're just able to pogo off those uh, Frost Knight's heads, and we just kind of get through. Alright, so normally uh, Shovel would have to go on those uh, ice, um, I don't even know what you call those, the rainbow blocks. Uh, but we don't have to in this uh, category because of burst. Alright, ah! <laughs> I, hit that, I hit that checkpoint though, so... I should have hit switch to rising dagger, but I don't know, I guess I got a little nervous about it. Alright, take damage just to get through there. Man, what am I doing? 
Alright, so just Dust Knuckle and then damage boost off into that platform. We're not gonna grab that checkpoint. It's not a big deal. I say that as I'm probably gonna mess up this next section. Alright, uh, so right here's a cool skip. I'm gonna see if I can get it. Nope, missed it. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it. This is a cool skip. There we go. Be able to skip through that entire uh, section with those uh, tundras. All right, so this is Polar Knight. Um, just gonna be trying to take damage and get close to him as soon as we can. That was, that was pretty good, actually, besides some extra damage I took. Alright, um, next is Clockwork. Um, it's not a too bad of a stage. The auto-scrollers can get a little scary. Um, so what's cool about Clockwork is that, um, it technically has two auto-scrollers in it. The last one before the boss is forced. But this, the first one is, isn't is technically an auto-scroller, so we can skip past it. Uh, using some interesting burst stuff. Which hopefully I'll show off. We're going to be doing the Plague version of the auto-scroller skip. Because Shovel has one too, but it's slower. Ooh. Man. Chances are, if you say a shovel-related pun, I've heard it before. <laughs> what? Um, hmm. So, I guess I was, I was supposed to burst off. I was supposed to burst off that ladder. But I guess I probably just ended up jumping off. It's whatever. It's probably like 30 seconds. There we go. And then, uh, Burst has a hitbox right at the beginning. And then it has a small amount of iframes which you can use to your advantage. So, oh my god. That's what I did for the, uh, that, uh, that Chompy back there. That's what was supposed to happen last time. I don't know what, what actually happened. But. Uh. There we go. I'm trying to switch to phase lock it. Touch screen makes this a little crazy. Alright. Uh, so this is a slightly altered version of Plague's auto scroller skip. There we go. I would say original shovel. I, I agree with that, Strizer. Alright, so this is the last auto scroller. This is the one we have to go through. No choice. Just chilling. Alright, so I guess I could talk about the boss of the stage. Uh, the boss of Clockwork Tower is Tinker Knight. And uh, what's cool about his fight. His fight has two phases in it, but we are able to skip past the first one because of a relic we have, which is the uh, mobile gear, which we used earlier. Alright, see, I took a sip of the uh, Fleet Flask there, which uh, sped up sped up that first fight to uh, that first set of stairs to get down. Uh, normally you'd have to just hit them multiple times, but oh, what a, because of what we did, I can. Uh... Oh, uh, this is one more of the Shadow Clone. 
We're gonna be using him for the fight, so that way we can get to Tinker. I have to take some intentional damage. But I can skip him forward some phases. Oh, ooh. Yeah. That was pretty. Yeah. I think I'm probably lost like three or four seconds to that. That boss fight. Uh, <laughs> this is not my main category. Thank you for the compliment, but ooh, I'm a little rough at this. Not gonna lie. <laughs> Alright, so, like I said, the Yacht Club knows, knew when they made this, which, stage, which stages were the hardest in each world. And, uh, if I'm gonna die the most anywhere... It's gonna be here. Flying Machine is a stupid tough sh stage. With all the stuff you have to do. Get the double jump with Pogo. Try and skip past this cannonball phase. Nope. Um, so what Play can do in his campaign is uh, just get in that uh, cannonball and uh, just... I think it saves about 2-3 seconds. Oof. Yeah, like I said, if it's gonna be anywhere, it's gonna be here. Flying machines, bad. Um, we were only, I think it was actually one screen, so. Two screens, my bad. There we go, I was trying to skip past the cannonball the first fight, the first part. All right, let me see where we're at, okay. Got a little nervous. Alright, so this is the dinghy dropper. Hopefully, I'm gonna get the quick kill on him. So, like I said, Burst has a hitbox. So, we're able to use that to start getting damage on him. And then, like I said, Flare Wand. Three hits uh, per. Three hits per use, so we can just get stupid DPS on it. Oh, alright. Please, please. Alright, I can make this work. No! Oh, no! Come on, man. Thought I had that. Yeah, that was supposed to happen. Rising Dagger we used. That way I don't have to deal with these Jawas. So I can go straight into the auto scroller. Why isn't there a checkpoint there? Oh, um, that checkpoint is in Plague's campaign. Uh, Shovel has, uh, doesn't have a checkpoint there. He has his before the, uh, before and after the dingy, dingy dropper. There's no, there's none in between. That's just a Plague thing. Because, uh, Plague has a harder time with dingy dropper. Versus, uh, Shovel. That's just Plague that has that. Alright, so that's a shovel strat, so I don't fall right into the spikes. Alright, so this is probably the hardest section right here. This is the, uh... Ah, oh, the air room. Yep, a little too far. So luckily I'd lost maybe 30 seconds off that, if... I normally try not to grab that checkpoint if I don't have to. Just because it wastes even more time. It's not worth it. So I'm just wait out this fan cycle. Not even custom, I can do anything about that. I use Rising Dagger. There we go. That's what was supposed to happen the first time. Whoa, 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 whoa. Alright, so it's important to not uh, burst too far into Propeller. If you land on top of him, the fight becomes horrible. Ah, uh, 
I did too much damage propeller, so what happens is after a certain amount of damage. I'm gonna have to get the snipe. Got it! Haha. <laughs> okay, we are done with the night stages. Oh man, you're right about that. Don't get me wrong. Yeah, the air rooms. Uh, it's just the first one that's really hard in this category. Because you need to have a uh, burst charged into the next room. So then you have to be at least holding the button as you go through. Which can just make it even worse over time. That's pretty mediocre. Alright, we are done with the Night Sages. Alright, we're on to the tower. Which, um... This is, this is, uh... Tower 2 is what scares me the most. Um, it's not even actually boss rush, it's more of the actual stage itself that can get pretty scary. Just because there's one stupid hard skip I'm gonna have to go for, which saves a solid 20 seconds if you get it. Uh, lose 30 if you if you don't. Oh. All right, so right here, taking some damage boost, and then I'm gonna be using Dust Knuckles just to get through this section right here, or not, nah, you know, it's whatever. I love this game. Alright, so this is the crusher, crusher section. Um, Shovel can't do this in one cycle. Normally, but we can. Uh, with everyone's favorite weapon, the Infinite Dagger. So, this shouldn't be a problem. It shouldn't be. There we go. Using Rising Dagger to get through this, uh, that Liquid Samurai, because they're a little annoying to deal with. Oh. Um, okay. I'll just take the damage boost, I guess. Normally, yeah, just pogo off him, then go down low. Or not. Man, this run's turning into hot garbage pretty quick. I mean, we'll hit Estimate. Ah, uh, I don't know anymore. All right. Now we're good. All right, cool. So this part is pretty cool because we just get to burst, just pogo through everything, or completely lose all my momentum. Alright, so we're gonna skip the checkpoint before Black Knight, because I'm not worried about that. I am gonna be going... So you saw in Black Knight 1, we had a stun lock on him. The stun lock still exists. It's just a lot tighter. So it's kind of a 50-50 if I'm gonna get it. If I do, we're saving 20 seconds off the bat. No! Ah! I'm a little mad about that. Ah! He had like two hearts left. Man, that was that was bad. My last, like, run through of tower, I had gotten it, so I thought it would be okay, but what are you gonna do? Okay, tower two. This is, uh, the same place where boss rush is, so. Ugh. This is the longest stage in the game, so. Especially if I die on the skip. Um, that'll make it a little longer, too.
Ah, so this is a Mario Maker room. Oh, we call it that just because this room looks like someone went into Mario Maker and just threw a bunch of blocks and slimes everywhere. Alright. Ugh. This is the stupid skip. Ah, uh, that I already almost died on before starting. Alright. Whew. We got our first try, baby. Um, so normally you'd have to take one of those ice statues all the way through a shovel. Um, but we can just kind of go out of bounds and just... Uh, not do it, but the problem is you have to take out all the enemies before you go for it Which can just make it a lot harder I've lost plenty of runs with that skip All right, we're on our way to boss rush Um, Once I start boss rush y'all can let me know if you want me to save or kill the knights I really don't care so just let me know because this runs already pretty garbage At Mario Maker Room. <laughs> it's my favorite room, dude. Alright, we got one for save. Alright. We got one. I'll take a look in between bosses. So y'all just gotta let me know. Alright. Um, so, the thing about boss order here is that it's completely random. Besides one exception. And I'll talk about that when we get to it. Um, so the, uh, the one exception here is that Yacht Club was nice about it, and, uh, Polar will always be in the one of the first three nights you fight, but besides that, the rest of the bosses are completely random. And I'll talk about why Yakla was nice about it. Nope. All right, one vote for save. All right, so we we're at two. Ah, propeller. So the Knights decided to put uh, Polar in one of the first three because they felt it was unfair if someone, uh, for example, got to Polar last. Uh, they thought it'd be really unfair if you got to pull out last and then you had some spikes um, just completely kill you on the last part of boss rush. So they decided to put him one of the first three. Three votes for save. Oh, okay, cool. I only saw two. Alright. I can't really aff Unfortunately, I can't afford the magic because of how tight boss rush is, so I kind of have to go for the uh, shovel low percent strat, which sucks. Because I only have 100 to go for. Alright, see who's next. Mm, okay. There we go. Alright. Let's see. King? I can do King. That's not bad. If anything, Plague's probably gonna ruin me. Uh, Plague sucks because you can't use much magic because he's so RNG heavy. So you just kind of have to go to like a really basic low percent strat with some like uh, shovels and the pogos. Alright. 
King Knight hardest fight. Real talk. You know what's up. I can do the normal. Yeah, I can do the normal kill. Kind of. Yeah, there we go. That was a really nice Spectre kill. Alright, so we're saving the knights. That's what it looks like. I don't mind. Later, boys. Alright. Um, time's coming up, but it's not... Uh, you still got a little bit. Probably say about three minutes. Yeah, three minutes till time. Just adds. All right, where's Fleet Flask? Oh, you have to talk to the knights? Um, I've never had to. Not in my experience. As if you let them up, I I believe then they'll... Alright. <sighs> Alright. This Enchantress, this is by far the hardest, the hardest fight. I could go for like the super try hard kill, but I did not grab the checkpoint, so that's a, that's a no. It's not a big deal. All right, that was pretty mediocre because I had to wait on the second phase. You normally don't have to. Um, so luckily you're able to burst when you try to catch Shield Knight right up here. So this is a little faster than uh, what Shovel can normally do. There we go. That's pretty nice. All right, time's coming up. This is uh, time is on the final hit to the final boss. So I'll call it. I'll call it as well. Time. Ooh, that was a really nice enchantress, actually. Ooh, that was that was pretty good. Ah, GG. <laughs> Yo, could, Strizer, could you let me know what that was? I don't have a uh, stream up, so I just kind of... I know it was bad. It was probably like a 44, 42. It, it was bad. <laughs> Forty-three, yeah, that's pretty. Ooh, it's pretty bad. Ah, uh, yeah, that was that was an okay run. I think that was like four, five deaths. Could have been worse. Oh yeah, um. I think I'm gonna take a little bit of a like five minute break and then we're gonna move on to uh, Spectre of Torment which is my main game so hopefully I won't be as garbage at it as I am at this category but I'll probably end up with around the same time just because uh, in nature uh, custom nights a lot faster of a category world record for custom nights of 40 uh, 35 and then world record for Spectres of 37 right now a high 37 
Um, so I guess we can just let these, this uh, music finish up. And then I guess we'll move on to Spectre in a couple minutes. So I'll meet myself. Uh, thanks for watching the custom night run. This was uh, a lot of fun, even though it was kind of bad. Yeah, thank you. I'll probably be back in about five minutes.